Hello, hi, and uh, welcome to the GTEx show. Here is Simone Vincenzi, your host, and today I'm joined by the one and the only Greg Fidel. How are you, Greg? I'm great, thanks. Hi, everyone, as well. Fantastic. It's great having you here because I know, I know that you do an incredible work with uh, the community, in particular working with young people. Can you tell us a bit more about the work that you do and the impact that you leave in young people's lives? That's a fantastic question, Simone. Um, I'm, I've got a sports coaching company. Um, the reason I set my sports coaching company up is I've done a lot of coaching with some great companies, uh, football clubs, and I've done it at the elite level, so at academies. Um, and I've been struck by, at some levels, how poor the coaching's been. I've seen lots of poor practice uh, and coaching, and I've been inspired to, mm. to put it right, really. What do you mean about poor practice in coaching? Uh, what is uh, that you mean about that? Well, I've, I've, I've gone into schools and um, I've done like a cricket session with children who are about 10 years old. And I've done like a, just a general warm up with them, so it might be like throwing and catching. Um, and I did an overarm throwing catch with them, just like a general basic warm up. Mm -hmm. uh, half the class couldn't do it, and the other half the class didn't know what an overarm throw was. Okay, um, right. <laughs> for someone that's 10 years old, they yeah. should know the basics. They should know that when they're about five or six. Right, that should be in the curricular, right? Yes. Fantastic. And uh, why do you think uh, sport coaching is important? I mean, I know that the work that you do is not only about uh, coaching, but it goes deeper. Yeah. Now, why do you think sport coaching is important for uh, young people? I mean, can they do just PE at school? Um, I remember when I was at school, I wasn't great academically, but I sort of excelled in sport. Um, and the teachers that had the biggest impact on me, and the reason I'm where I am today, is because of what my sports teachers did with me, right. and what my football coaches did with me. Um, I've seen through the coaching I've done as well, what an impact you can make on a child, and it's not only in terms of sport, but in helping them become a more rounded person. Right, so you're talking about uh, the impact that this can make uh, on a child. Can you give us an example of uh, maybe one of the best stories? You know the, the soppy, warming heart stories that would make uh, even the yeah. toughest uh, fighter cry? <laughs> um, I've, I've got a few to choose from. I think one that I'm probably most proud of is um, I was working with a year four class. Um, that means they're about eight years old, eight, yeah. nine years old. Um, the class did not work well together. So there were about eight to 10 really disruptive children in the class and none of them worked really well together. The teacher came to me and she said, is there something we can do in PE where we can get them to learn to work together better? Um, in, in the space of about six weeks, I did a lot of um, group tasks and activities and working in pairs and sort of changing around who they would work with. So they weren't working with their best friends, but lots of different people. And the mm. results that we saw, not only doing PE, but in the classroom were amazing. Uh, the teacher said, thanks. And now when I see the class, they all really work well together. They're all harmonious and they get on. Because that's something that is very, very difficult in school. I mean, you have kids that are stick with, uh, with all the groups and uh, they yeah. all have the same friends. And I remember when I was a kid, I was staying with, just with my friends and it was difficult to get socialized with. Exactly. So what you're saying is that the work that uh, you're doing, Greg, is uh, helping kids also to socialize and gaining also social yeah. skills, not only sports skills. Yes, yes, exactly. I think that's one of the most important things and that's probably one of the things that gets forgotten a lot is how, how can we create more rounded people as well? Because say you lose a football match, you see, you see children crying. They, <laughs> it's like they the end of the world. Yeah, <laughs> exactly, exactly, Simona. And, and they just don't know how to cope with it. So it's um, teaching them different skills which can then be transferred into the classroom and things like that. A lot of, what we, a lot of the coaching I do is based around um, what I talk to teachers about as well. So I'm always talking to teachers. How is your class behaving? Is there certain things we might need to work on? and tweak and sort of things like that. 
That's fantastic. You're doing a great job, Greg, and uh, I'm really uh, happy that there are people like you that are taking care of uh, the future of our society. Now, if uh, someone wants to get in touch with, uh, with your company, which is Sport Active Coaching, yes. right? Very good. You can, can see here, <laughs> Sport Active, Active Coaching. Uh, Thanks for the plug, Simone. You're welcome. My pleasure, Greg. <laughs> what is that? Where can people reach you? Um, you? You can reach us in a number of different ways. We're on Facebook on the Sports Active Coaching. We're on the Twitter as Sports Active Co. Um, we are on Instagram as well. We are at www.sportsactivecoaching.co.uk and you can always get in contact with me on my mobile using the number 07850 425322. Fantastic, Greg. Thank you very much. It's been a pleasure having you here on the GTEx show. And guys, see you next time. Bye. Brilliant. Thanks, Simone. Thank you, Greg.